Hello, and welcome back to Panther Sports Zone. I'm Alaysia Davis. And I'm Dorian Waller. Kicking off today's show, we opened up with track indoor season preview. Continuing, mm, continuing today's show, we begin with the preview of the men's and women's track teams indoor and outdoor seasons. The indoor track season is set to begin December 11th in Houston, Texas. Our Panthers are looking to defend their previous indoor SWAC championship crown. Last year, both men's and women's track teams won the indoor title in a convincing fashion. Last season, Coach of the Year duo and men's head coach Chris Clay and women's head coach Angela Williams are returning and eager to repeat. We can't wait to see our teams compete again this upcoming season. Good luck, Panthers, and stay tuned to Panther Sports Zone as we continue to bring you updates on our championship track squads. Moving on to basketball. Recently, um, SWAC. Recently, SWAC and the Pac-12 Legacy team. Recently, the SWAC and the Pac-12 Legacy announced their recent par partnership. The partnership will feature multiple games where Pac-12 teams such as Washington State will face Prairie View A&M University. The game will be on November 15th here at Prairie View. This is one of the first times where a team such as a major Pac-12 team has came and competed at a HBCU campus. Make sure to come to the game. Once again, the game is November 15th at 6 p.m. here at the Baby Dome. HBCU GO and SWAC Basketball Partnerships. Last month, the SWAC and HBCU GO announced the upcoming broadcast lineup for the men's and women's basketball season. HBCU GO is a new online streaming platform bringing you live sports from over 105 HBCUs across the nation. The website launched March 2021 and has been running smoothly. Our men's and women's basketball team will be a part of three doubleheaders featured on this site this upcoming basketball season, so make sure you tune in. This includes games versus Alabama A&M January 23rd, Mississippi Valley State February 20th, and our state rivals, Texas Southern, March 4th. Coverage for those games begin at 5 o'clock Central Time. Well, we're going to a short break. When we come back, the 2022 SWAC Women's Soccer Championship bracket has been announced. More on that after the break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Panther Sports Zone. Wait, wait, wait. It has to be right. Back to Panther Sports Zone. Continue with today's show. The SWAC recently announced the women's soccer tournament for this season. The SWAC, um, the teams are seeded one through eight, claiming the number one seed, Jackson State, followed behind Grambling State and Southern, respectfully, at number two and number three. Number four, Alabama State, is set to face off against number five, Texas Southern, which is expected to be a very close game. Number seven, Alcorn is set to face off Grambling State, and number eight, Southern is set to face Jackson State. The games begin next week. Our Panthers did not qualify for the tournament, but we want to give them a huge shout out and a congratulations on a great season. Make sure to tune in next season and make sure to catch all their games as we continue to support our Panthers. Continuing with more news around the SWAC, tomorrow's Jackson State versus Texas Southern has completely sold out. 
leading the West Division with a record of 4-1. to one. Prairie View is currently in second place to Jackson State in the overall SWAC standings. Prairie View had a convincing win over Texas Southern earlier this season, defeating the Tigers 40-23. to 23. This Jackson State versus Texas Southern game is a great opportunity to get a good look at Jackson State versus an opponent we've already played. As our Panthers hope to meet Jackson State again in the SWAC championship this year after a sad defeat to them in the last year's game. Our Panthers are currently gearing up to take on Alcorn State today at 7 o'clock here at Blackshear Field. If you are able to attend the game, make sure to show up and show out and support your Panthers. We're going to take another short break, and when we get back, we'll have a very special guest member of the Prairie View a and women's golf team, Iman Abraham. Stay tuned after the break. We're back with Iman Abraham, and she is here to give us some insight on their recent victory in the Alabama A&M Invitational. How are you feeling today, Iman? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Thank you guys for having me. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, really quickly, can you tell us what the ride back home from the Alabama Invitational was like for you all after following the victorious NCAA tournament? Well, <laughs> we were tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a early flight, so... Okay. A lot of us were asleep on the plane, and um, but we were excited. Like after, I think we were all kind of in shock at how, like we just ended up winning. Like I, it was kind of amazing that we just came together as a team, and we just felt really comfortable with each other. Our chemistry is a lot better, and our mindset has changed a lot. And our new coach, I think, has been giving us that. She's been in our ear talking about, you guys got this, you're going to win this, you're going to win, you guys, you got it. So I think that kind of just planting that seed in our head mm -hmm. has really helped us and it was fun bringing home that trophy. We're happy. We made some TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How big was the trophy? It was a good size. It was like, you know. I believe I saw it okay. on the website. It looked, it? Yeah, it looked yeah. It was cute. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> so you brought up your coach and, you know, last season, you know, mm -hmm. for most of the season, y'all really didn't have a coach, you know, as one of our um, Panther Sports Zone members, you know, we really talked about that a lot. Yeah. You know, we discussed about not having a coach, how y'all kept pushing, y'all kept winning. Mm -hmm. So how much of this win do you contribute to having a new coach? Um, I, I have to say there's definitely a big contribution to our coach. And mm -hmm. I think as a team, too, like it was it was a big group of everything. I feel like she just really brought in hope for our team because going a whole year without a coach, just you start to kind of wonder, like, is there ever really going to be a coach? Um, so I think it was really nice being able to finally get somebody in there that was there for us, understood us. And it was actually 
able to help our games. Like she, I remember our first tournament in North Carolina at the SS, SAS championship. She helped me with my putting. I remember I was like, hey, I need some help because <laughs> these kids are fast. I need you to come on over here. And she helped me. I knocked it in. And I felt like that really gave me the confidence for the rest of the round. And I ended up shooting a really good, a really good round later that day. So I think it, she definitely is contributing. And I'm excited to see what the future looks like for our team with yes, a coach now course. and a program. Would you like to give your coach a quick shout out by right. name and yes. everything uh, to the hey, camera coach for Misha. us? <laughs> No, I, I'm really happy you're here. I hope you're watching this and, you know, I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> so were there any specific team bonding exercises that you guys performed or was it more just a natural thing? You kind of just brought your coach in. She would embrace you all. You all embraced her. Um, it was she definitely was eager to meet us all, which I really liked. Um, she definitely called us, um, sat us down. We had a conversation with her. We talked for like an hour or so, mm -hmm. just enjoying. She was just asking about us, trying to get to know us. I just think it was nice. And we try to have like some good, like uplifting traditions. So we always like to start like our, before we start each round, we like to start with a group prayer. Mm -hmm. So we just come together before every round, tell each other good job and um, stuff like that. And then we also just, we did a whole lot of work as a team to yes. get to where we are. We've done us and y'all some team bonding <laughs> to be able to just feel like a team. Because when you don't have a coach, it's very, especially with golf, it being an individual sport, it's very easy to just go out and do your own thing and mm -hmm. not see your teammates for weeks mm -hmm. at a time. And I feel like it was just really important for us to stay together. Even though we didn't have a coach, we still stayed together, try to, you know, feel like a family. Because at the end of the day, that's what we are. Yes, I love that. So I want to touch on that real quick. So, you know, you speak a lot about team and team bonding. You just mentioned that you go near weeks without seeing your teammate. <laughs> so, like, kind of how – can you give us more in-depth about that dynamic? Um, well, with golf, it's a, very different than any other sport on campus. So it's not like we have um, a facility on campus. So we have to go travel on our own to the golf course. Uh, so every now and then we just get in our car, somebody, and we have different schedules. So some people like to go in the morning and then some people go in the afternoon. So if you're yeah. going in the morning, you might miss some people that go in the afternoon. So there's some things like that happen, but now we're starting to get workouts again and we're starting to slowly get some structure back into our program. And I feel like it's going to show and show a long way, especially with starting off the season with the win. It's really nice. Uh, I think we can do a whole lot when it comes to our championship season, which is next in the spring. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. excited. Yes. Bring home a swag ring. <laughs> right. And again, you bring up winning. So I know y'all have another tournament coming up in about a week or two. We're going to discuss mm -hmm. more, more on that later. Uh -huh. So what are you looking forward to mainly about this upcoming tournament? Um, this new tournament, I'm excited because it's actually like the swag um, invitational. So that means mm -hmm. it's going to be our swag schools. Mm -hmm. It'll be um, ASU, TSU um Bethune and us for our women's conference so it'll be nice to see kind of where other teams stand so that hopefully we know what we need to work on um what the competition's looking like out there so that we can so springtime comes around yes. we're the one winning yes, it's important <laughs> to gauge your competition so yes. you've talked about um structure mm -hmm. discipline essentially as well as the dynamic mm -hmm. you know how, how, how that has been impacted by yeah. your coach how do you think she has impacted your overall success rate I think she's she's doing a good job and for her only being here for maybe a month or I don't even know, but <laughs> um, not that long. And yes. I feel like she's already made a difference. I mean, she's come in, she's set us up with workouts, which we haven't had team workouts in over a year. We haven't had team practices in over a year. Okay. So her stepping in and actually showing in the effort that she's here and she's trying to set in a, a good program, get everything off on the right start, sitting down, talking to us individually and talking to us about our goals. And, and she's really there on the course as well. So I feel like she's very much starting off on the right track and it'll be exciting to see what else she can do for us in our program. So once again, with your teammates, you know, you mentioned how y'all have differing schedules, but y'all know the camaraderie is obviously still there. Yeah. So what have you and your teammates been doing to prepare for this upcoming tournament as well as the spring? You know, can you give us an in-depth look at your workouts, you know, the times y'all go, things like that? Yeah. So like our typical, so our schedule now, so we have workouts at 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. on Fridays. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have our team workouts. We work out as a team, men's and women's. Uh, we go in there, just try to work out. I feel like that's a good way to kind of see each other. We kind of just talk, hang out. 
Um, and then we have practice. So we have our morning shift and then our afternoon shift. So we'll see people in the morning. Um, I'll be out in the morning. So I'll go out there around like eight o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock or something around there. Um, just really until I can have class. And then I come out here for Panthers War Zone. <laughs> um, so that's like my day. But we pretty much keep it like we like to have team meetings. And um, for our women's team, we'll like to have a meeting before tournaments, discuss like what we're wearing. Um, we even created like a little vision board <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> last year for our team. And we just kind of like write our own goals that we have for each other. So like that's really dope. That's really yeah, cool. Like certain words and things that we feel like is empowering. We even have like a little jar. <laughs> We had like our little achievement jar, so we would put down like positive things that happen from every tournament, and um, I think things that we want to work on for the next one. So okay. we'll go back and like look at the things and like accomplish. Up, I had a birdie that day, or I chipped in, or I had uh, my lowest round. So like kind of like little things like that. So even when you have bad rounds, you can go back and look at like, okay, it was a bad round, but I've had good ones before. So just mm -hmm. kind of like a good reminder. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So um, speaking of the future, you know, kind of looking forward, what are you most looking forward to this upcoming spring um, season? And how do you think that the SWAT conference will pan out given the recent success that you guys have had? I'm, I'm excited. I feel like we're really starting to see like the light at the end of this tunnel <laughs> that we've been going through. And I think we're just working really hard. I think we're starting to understand the importance of practicing, having that structure, going out there and mm -hmm. just really grinding, like just going out there and just trying our hardest, working on and off the course, trying our best. And eventually we are going to see those results. And yeah. we can see we did just win our swag. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> or not our swag, excuse me. <laughs> we won the Alabama a and Invitational. So that was really exciting. And I think we're just going to use that momentum to keep working. I mean, this is our fall season. Mm -hmm. So I think we're just kind of working on what we need to. It's trying to figure out what, what areas of our game need more improvement. So when spring comes around, we're ready. Yes, absolutely. And you mentioned the grind. So I've heard a rumor here on campus, and I want you to confirm it for me real quick. <laughs> okay. Is it true that y'all drive about 20, 30 minutes to Houston just to get y'all's um, practices in? Yes, we are the only sport in at Prairie View that does not have a facility on campus. To me, so. to me, y'all are one of the premier sports here at Prairie View. So okay. I believe y'all should have <laughs> with all this tournament, just this, want to With all this right. land Prairie View has, there should be a facility for y'all. So can you tell me about the process of driving um, over to Houston? And how do you feel about that specifically? Yeah. So we do have a really good court, uh, private facility called Sand Hill Farm. So that's mm -hmm. um, so like in Waller. So it's about 20 minutes uh, okay. away from here. It's, it's really nice. I really do enjoy it. The drive is a bit much, but hopefully soon we will have a facility on campus because that would just yeah. be really nice for everyone. It'd be nice to feel a little bit more included. Um, and hopefully that will happen and it'll be Absolutely. it'll be nice to see and I would love to come back one day and see a little driving range. Miss Thurston, Miss Thurston, that's a that's a remark to you. No. Please, please build them a facility. They deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. Yes. Or whatever future athletic director that is coming in. Please, <laughs> please get us a driving range or something on campus. Yes. It'd be very much, very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, no, I enjoy it. We do have a good facility, so I can't even be too upset about it. Um, we, it's a great course, very nice, that nice place for us to just practice, hang out. Uh, we have another area, another course in Cyprus that we mm -hmm. can go play at as well. Um, but you know, our new coach coming, I'm sure she'll, I'm sure she'll shake, she'll shake some things up for us. <laughs> yes, that is good. Yeah. Well, tell us about you guys' upcoming tournament, November 14th through the 15th. Yes, so that is our, that's the SWAC one. Um, I'm excited for that one. It'll yes. be really fun. I feel like we're really just starting off and really have a good positive energy around us right now. I feel like we're all on the same page mm -hmm. and we all have a goal that we're all trying to accomplish. And I think we're going to get it done at this next tournament. I'm excited. I feel like I feel really good about my game. I feel like my teammates are starting to really get some breakthroughs with their games mm -hmm. and we just keep working. Well, I'm sure this won't be the last time we win. Yes. I love that attitude. Mm -hmm. Well, don't forget to support your Lady Panthers in their upcoming tournament at the set to take place on November 14th through the 15th. 
Thank you so much, Iman Abraham, for joining us today. And we wish you and your teammates success in all of your future upcoming tournaments. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. Thank yes. you for being here. We Thanks. will take a brief commercial break and we will be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Panther Sports Zone. Before we close out here, we wanted to give another quick shout out to the football team. After you finish watching the show, make sure to tune in, or actually, you're on campus. Make sure you go to the game today at <laughs> 7 o'clock at Blackshear Field. Our team needs all the support we can get. We want to thank you for watching, and make sure you tune in every Monday to Friday at 5 o'clock. We're here live, Panther Sports Zone. I'm Dorian Waller. And I'm Malaysia Davis, signing out.